Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. Praise the Lord, Sister Clementina. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. Praise the Lord, Sister Connie. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory. We exalt your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Can you all hear me audibly? Kindly share the broadcast. I would request everyone to share. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Brother Prem Kumar. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship you. We give you glory. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are mighty, O oh God. There is no one like you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. Praise the Lord, Sister Shweta. Praise the Lord. Sister Vijaya. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Kindly share the broadcast. I would request everyone to kindly share the broadcast. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are mighty. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless your name. We bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, Sister Angelia Monterio. Kindly share the broadcast. I would request everyone to kindly share the broadcast. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless your name. We bless your name. Praise the Lord, Sister Sonal. Praise the Lord. Pastor Sonal. Sana tu Raja Oka Raja Teri Mahi Everyone worship the Lord. Praise the Lord, Sister Sima. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship your name, Lord. You are mighty. You are glorious. Praise the Lord, Sister Vijaya. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Brother Prem. Thank you. Very well. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. We give you glory. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, Brother Sylvester Kuti. Praise the Lord. Brother Ravi, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Kindly share the broadcast. Today's OBS. OBS. Hallelujah. Online Bible study. How many of you are excited? Hallelujah. Can we just worship the Lord? Thank you, Jesus. Mahima Ovesada. To have Prabhu Amara Kuda. Lord, we worship your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Bless your name, bless your name, bless your name. Praise the Lord, Sister Nancy Fernandez. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Worship your name, Lord. Worship your name. Hallelujah. La bronto no musakara ba 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 shandi. La bronto no musanda na ma 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 sekeri beri 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 beri. O la bronto no musande beri 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 kanta na ma sekeri beri 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 beri. La bronto. Praise the Lord, Sister Martina. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship your name. We worship your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory. We give you glory. La bronto no musaka ba 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 sande de 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 de. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, Brother Sandeep. Praise the Lord. All those joining in, kindly share the broadcast. I would request you to share the broadcast. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Very well. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Tenson Emmanuel. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. We worship you, Lord. You are mighty. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Teri stuti karu Teri stuti karu Tu yaha Kar kar raha Teri stuti karu Hallelujah thank you Jesus Stuti karu Yes Lord everyone I want you to worship the Lord Thank you Jesus Hallelujah Teri stuti karu Teri stuti karu Come on everyone worship the Lord Oops battery low Thank you Jesus Teri stuti karu Everybody Stuti karu Thank you Lord we worship you Jesus Hallelujah bless your name Oh we give you glory Jesus you are mighty Lord hallelujah Thank you Jesus we exalt your name Thank you Jesus hallelujah Oh yes Lord Thank you Jesus Kudatin Stuti karu, teri stuti karu, tu yaha changa kar raha, teri stuti karu, teri stuti karu. Hallelujah, thank you Jesus. We bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. We worship your name, O oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There is to take a room. Chamatkar karta vadi nibata and karatata. Yes. Kuda hai Oh yes Lord God Aisa kuda tu mera Ra banata Chamatkar karta Vaadi nibata Andakar hatata Aisa kuda tu mera Yes Lord we worship your name O God Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Thank you Lord Thank you, Master. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name. Bless your name. Bless your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We exalt your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. Bless your name. Bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, we worship you. Kindly share the broadcast. I'll request once again, everyone, kindly share the broadcast. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name. Bless your name. I'm just waiting for people to share the broadcast. All those who have not shared, share it to at least 20 to 25 people and groups. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Master. We worship you, Jesus. Oh, bless your name. Bless your name. Bless your name. La bronto no mo sande le 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 kama mama mantere. Praise the Lord, Sister Vanita. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are holy, O oh God. Who is there like you, Jesus? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. We bless your name. Bless your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We exalt your name. We give you glory. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And today, hallelujah, let's get to the word. How many of you are excited? How many of you are excited? Hallelujah. I want you to, I want you, hallelujah. How many of you are excited for today's word sharing? Hallelujah. Today's online Bible study. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And my message is titled, Mystifying Enemies and Attacks. Mystifying Enemies and Attacks. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Can can uh, somebody put up the put up the title, the message title, mystifying enemies and attack. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. We worship you. I'm just waiting for people. I would request everyone kindly share, kindly share the broadcast. All those who haven't shared, if you could share the broadcast. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name. Bless your name. Bless your name. Bless your name. You are mighty. You are holy. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mystifying enemies and attacks. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Bless your name. We give you glory, we give you praise, we give you worship. Thank you, Jesus. We exalt your name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are mighty, you are holy, you are glorious, Lord. Hallelujah. So today's title is message, Mystifying Enemies and Attacks. Hallelujah. My dear brother and sister, what is mystifying? What do you mean by the word mystifying? Hallelujah. What is it exactly? Hallelujah. The word mystifying means unusual. Hallelujah. It means unusual, strange. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So today's title is Mystifying Enemies and Attacks. When you are confronted with mystifying enemies, hallelujah. Amen. And mystifying attacks you need to confront them with mystifying prayers hallelujah how many of you are experiencing in these in these days or in these weeks hallelujah things are happening in your life which are really abnormal another word for mystifying is abnormal unusual strange hallelujah Hallelujah. So how many of you, hallelujah, experiencing something really strange, something really unusual? Hallelujah. Something really weird, out of the natural. Hallelujah. Amen. So when such attacks or such enemies are attacking your life, what do you do? You do not pray a normal prayer. Hallelujah. You do not pray a normal prayer. You do not pray a natural prayer. Hallelujah. You pray mystifying prayers. Hallelujah. You decree mystifying decree. And today I'm going to teach you about, hallelujah, how to deal with mystifying enemies and mystifying attacks. Hallelujah. You can overcome or prevail against mystifying enemies only with mystifying prayers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can overcome or prevail against mystifying. You can take all those who want to take down notes can take down the notes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
यू कैन ओवरकम और प्रिवेल अगेंस्ट मिस्टिफाइंग एनिमीज only with mystifying prayers hallelujah when you are confronted with terrible enemies my brother and my sister when you are confronted with terrible enemies and terrible attacks you must confront it with terrible prayers hallelujah if the enemy comes and attacks you in a terrible way when you're not prepared for it when you're not ready for it hallelujah what do you do you don't sit and cry hallelujah so what do you do you need to rise up You need to rise up hallelujah you need to rise up and start praying terrible prayers mystifying prayers hallelujah hallelujah that is why the bible talks hallelujah the bible speaks in the book of ephesians chapter 6 all kinds of prayer hallelujah it talks about praying all kinds of praying hallelujah all kind of prayers let me tell you there are different kinds of prayers for different things hallelujah there are different for if you need if you need something hallelujah there's a prayer of petition that you make if you want to pray if someone comes to you with a prayer request you pray a prayer of intercession hallelujah if the enemy is battling against you if the enemy is battling against you you pray a warfare prayer hallelujah but even after praying a warfare prayer the enemy is still tough on your life hallelujah mystery mysterious things are taking place uh unusual things are happening suddenly all of a sudden hallelujah what do you do in that case all kinds of as i said the bible speaks about all kinds of prayers so you need to know what prayer needs to what kind of prayer needs to be prayed when for what situation hallelujah how many of you are getting what i'm saying in other words there is not a particular prayer or a kind of a method of prayer hallelujah for a particular situation there's a particular prayer hallelujah hallelujah different strokes hallelujah different strokes for different folks hallelujah i'll say that again different strokes for different folks hallelujah even if enemy comes with a different stroke so you need to take a different folk hallelujah Hallelujah. So whatever kinds of attack come your way, you must know what kind of prayer you must pray against that attack. Hallelujah. You need to know that. Hallelujah. The antidote for mystifying attacks are mystifying prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If a snake bites you, you don't take crocine or combi phlegm or some kind of painkiller. Hallelujah. You need an antidote. Hallelujah. Because if you take some crocine and anacine and whatever scene, hallelujah, there'll be a scene with you, a death scene. Hallelujah. So what do you need to do if a snake bites you? You need to go and take an antidote immediately. Hallelujah. So you will not die. Hallelujah. In the same way, if you are if you, if there are mystical things happening, if there are mystical mystifying things happening in your life if there are mystifying things happening unusual things happening strange things happening and you're just praying a normal prayer just forget it hallelujah you will go to your grave hallelujah in a very mystifying way then hallelujah hallelujah how many of you want to know the secret weapon hallelujah of how to fight the enemy hallelujah So what are mystifying attacks what are mystifying attacks it means abnormal attacks hallelujah weird enemies abnormal attacks or abnormal enemies weird attacks irregular attack that which is out of the ordinary from the enemy hallelujah hallelujah okay silvester kutti saying preach pastor going through the yes 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 amen 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 yes i am preaching it hallelujah Hallelujah something that is abnormal something that is something that is weird something that is abnormal something that is out of the ordinary it is not extraordinary but it is out of the ordinary hallelujah hallelujah amen you understand and notice that this attack that is coming to you is different hallelujah it's out of the ordinary it's obscure it's very it's very unique hallelujah it's very obscure kind of kind of an attack an enemy hallelujah and you don't understand from when you don't understand in that situation what you need to do and how you need to go about it hallelujah before you understand anything it's too late hallelujah hallelujah the seasons and times that we are in 
are, a, are not a season and a time to be quiet, my brother and sister. Hallelujah. In fact, when you are quiet, it's a tragedy. Hallelujah. It's a tragedy if you are quiet because it's time for you to arise. It's time for you to arise and attack the enemy through mis by mystifying prayers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is detestable if you are a person who is silent when the enemy is waging war. Hallelujah. When the enemy is waging war against you, you need to wage a war back against the enemy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our battle and our warfare has a lot to do with speaking and declaring and not and, and not using. You don't need to use carnal weapons. Hallelujah. You need to declare, you need to decree, hallelujah. You don't need to, when I say using weapons, I'm not talking about using carnal weapons. I'm not talking about using a sword and a, you know, sword and a knife or anything like that. No, how do you deal with the enemy? You need to know that your enemy is a spiritual enemy, an unseen enemy with unseen strategy and unseen plans. Hallelujah. So how do you come against this mystifying enemy of yours? Hallelujah. You enter the realm of the spirit and you start decreeing from the realm of the spirit. I already preached last time that we are spirit beings. You cannot pray from the realm of the earth, from the realm of the natural. Hallelujah. You need to pray from the realm of the supernatural, from the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. Because if you pray from the realm of the uh, natural, the enemy, hallelujah, the enemy will, will attack you. You don't need any attack. You don't need mystifying attacks. The enemy will just attack you. How many of you are getting? You need to enter the realm of the spirit. You need to. That is your base. The realm of the spirit is your base. Your operation place from where you operate as king and priest. Hallelujah. As a warrior of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you are getting what I'm saying? Hallelujah. We do not fight flesh and blood. Remember this. We do not fight flesh and blood. You do not fight your mother-in-law. You do not fight your husband. You do not fight your siblings, your mom and dad. You are fighting the enemy. When, when Jesus told Peter, when Jesus looked at Peter, hallelujah, and he said, get behind me, Satan. He didn't tell Peter. He did not tell Peter. He spoke to the demon that was behind Peter and that was Satan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's time for you to see in the spirit and keep a watch what's happening in your life in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. So our battles got to do a lot with decreeing and declaring. Hallelujah. When the enemy, when the enemy, a few nights back, I was praying and um, when I was praying, when I was praying and I was just waiting on the Lord, suddenly I heard nearly, it was thousand upon thousand upon thousand women. They were yelling and screaming. And I was like, what is this? No one could be, it's night three, it's night three o'clock, three a.m. in the night. And I'm thinking, what am I? And I could hear it with my physical ear, though it is happening in the unseen world. And I was saying, as as the Holy Spirit, Lord, what am I hearing? As if someone is, someone has passed away. Hallelujah. I could hear it in my physical ear though. And I thought somebody's passed away, but as if there are thousand upon thousand women crying. Hallelujah. And I asked the Holy Spirit, what's all this going on? And the Holy Spirit told me, these are the demonic intercessors. Hallelujah. These are the demonic intercessors who are decreeing prayers and petitions against the body of Christ. Hallelujah, who are praying, who are decreeing to Lucifer against the body of Christ. My dear brother and sister, we may sleep at 3 a.m. We may go into a very deep sleep and start snoring off to glory, not knowing what's happening around us. Hallelujah. When we are sleeping, the enemy is planning strategies. And when we get up in the morning, oh my God, what is this? Hallelujah. The enemy has already started his plan out. Hallelujah. You are seeing mystifying things taking place in your life. You are seeing weird, weird things happening in your life. Unusual thing. Your daughter is falling sick. Your son is falling sick. Suddenly your husband is fighting you for no reason at all. Suddenly you are having so much money and now, now suddenly, you know, there's no money in your house. Suddenly things are happening. Suddenly sicknesses are coming. How? How? The demons don't sleep. Hallelujah. They plan strategy against every Christian. Every, every person who is standing on the battleground. Every person who wants to seek God with all his heart. Hallelujah. 
How many of you are getting what I'm saying? Hallelujah. When the enemy is speaking, you do not need to be silent, but you have to speak back. How many of you say it's time for me to speak back? Hallelujah. It's time for each one of us. <clears throat> It's time for each one of us to speak back to the enemy, to speak on the face of the enemy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stop the enemy in his traps. The only way you can silence the enemy and disarm the plan, the strategies and the workings of the enemy is by opening your mouth, standing on the ground and speaking against him. Hallelujah. We must open our mouth. We must lo learn to open our mouth. Christians live a life of, a, you know, their lives, uh, uh, Christians, hallelujah. When there is any fight, they will open their mouth. But when it's time to really fight in the spiritual battle, their mouth is shut. They cannot open up their mouth. When it comes to their neighbor, they are out there to fight and scream and do everything. Hallelujah. The enemy is destroying your life. And if you don't open your mouth and speak and decree and declare, the enemy is afraid of your tongue. Because your tongue is a sword, a weapon. God did not give you a tongue to, scout, to shout at your husband, your children or your neighbor or your in-laws. God gave you a mouth and a tongue so that you can speak, the, speak against the enemy. So that you can decree and declare against the enemy. You can stop what is coming against your life. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. We must speak and we must open our mouth. Hallelujah. Declare violent and destructive prayers against the enemy. Hallelujah. Can we open the word of God to Psalm chapter 109 verse 6? We'll read from 6 to 20. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm, how many of you are enjoying what I'm preaching? Today what I'm preaching is very, very important. If you get this word, you will know how to fight the enemy. Psalm 109 Verse 6 to 20, I'll read the word. Set a wicked man over him and let an accuser stand at his right hand. When he is judged, let him be found guilty and let his prayer become sin. Let his day be few and let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. <clears throat> let his children continually be vagabonds. Now what I'm reading, this is a prayer that David prayed for, pray, prayed for his enemy. Hallelujah. I'll read it back again and I want you to hear it clearly. Very important prayer. I want every one of you, if you have your Bible, you just put a mark. If you have your mobile, just bookmark this scripture. Psalm 109 verse 6 to 20. Now you're not going to say it against your mother-in-law your, or your enemies. Your enemy is only the devil. He's your spiritual enemy. So these prayers, these are the prayers that you need to pray against Satan and his enemy. Hallelujah. I'm reading it again. Psalm 109 verse 6 from 6 to 20. Set a wicked man over him. Let an accuser stand at his right hand. When he is judged, let him be found guilty. Let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few. And let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. Let his children continually be vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread. Let them seek their bread also from their desolate places. Let the creditor seize all that he has and let strangers plunder his labor. Let there be none to extend mercy to him, nor let there be any to favor his fatherless children. Let his posterity be cut off and in, his gen and in the generation following, let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered before the Lord. Let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be continually before the Lord that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth because he did not remember to show mercy but persecuted the poor and the needy man that he might even slay the broken in heart. As he loved cursing, so let it come to him. As he did not delight in blessing, so let it be far from him. As he clothed himself with cursing as with his garment, so let it enter his body like water. 
and like oil into his bones let it be to him like the garment which covers him and for a belt with which he girds himself continually let this be the lord's reward to my accusers and to those who speak evil against my person when he is talking about the accusers he is talking about satan hallelujah when he is talking about the accusers hallelujah this is david talking about the enemies who are against him maybe the philistines the ammonites the amorites whoever were against him but here in the new testament we can take this psalm hallelujah it's as i said miss these this is one of the mystifying prayer that we need to pray hallelujah if something is coming against your life wherever the word enemy is you satan and his co-host or satan and his host hallelujah hallelujah how many of you are getting what i'm saying hallelujah amen psalm 144 verse 7 and 11 i'll read one more hallelujah thank you jesus you can just open the word and keep it psalm 144 verse 7 and 11 hallelujah so when it uh, so when david is talking about his accusers he's talking about satan and the accuser of his brethren hallelujah and those who work with him continually hallelujah accuses us before the who are the accuser satan is the accuser who is accusing us before god day and night and when we say this prayers we are saying this prayers to satan and to his accuser hallelujah who is the accuser those who carry those who carry the assassinate you in the courts of heaven those who slander you hallelujah those who slander you let this prayer go against them hallelujah let this prayer go against them and be a reward to god hallelujah the time of praying ordinary prayers are over hallelujah because we are in a time where you don't need to pray an ordinary prayer but you need to pray mystifying prayers how many of you are getting hallelujah we have been we have been attacked by mystifying arrows my brother and sister we have been attacked by we have been attacked by mystifying arrows hallelujah mystifying weapons and diseases sicknesses hallelujah and the only way we can come against it is by praying the mystifying prayers hallelujah so what are the mystif who are the mystifying enemies you may wonder you now you know what are the mystifying prayers but who are the mystifying enemies let's open the word of god to psalm 144 verse 7 and 11 bhajan sahita 140 uska 7 aur 11 thank you jesus Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I'll read it. Send thine hand. I'm reading from the KJV. Send thine hand from above. Rid me. Deliver me out of great waters. This is David praying. Hallelujah. From the hand of strange children. Rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children. Whose mouth speaketh vanity. Hallelujah. which means useless words vain words words which are not of god and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood means liars great waters hallelujah send thy hand from above david is crying out to god and saying lord send your hand from above and deliver me out of great waters the word great waters means problems hallelujah the word great water means problems the word waters hallelujah it's talking about even about the spirits that are in the waters hallelujah deliver me out of great waters the hand of strange children the hand of strange children is talking about demons it's talking about the principalities the powers of darkness all those who are under satan rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children whose mouth speak vanity and their right hand is the right hand of falsehood hallelujah so great water symbolizes demonic attacks hardship perplexity hallelujah medical frustration defying medical diagnosis you go to the doctor maybe you're getting some problem you go to the doctor for treatment doctor said everything is okay everything is fine hallelujah so it defies medical diagnosis in your life you are doctor said okay fine you take this medicine so you will become well but there's nothing happening defying medical diagnosis hallelujah treatments and make you restless they take your comfort and peace and challenges and it doesn't matter how much 
Hallelujah. How much you pray and shake them off. They don't, they, they just cannot get shaken off your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Strange children are strange enemies. Strange children are strange enemies. Hallelujah. Attacks that will not go away easily. Mystifying enemies, mystifying attacks are those attacks that don't go away easily. The attacks that keep coming, that keep coming. COVID, COVID, hallelujah, 19. Coronavirus, it's a mystifying attack. Hallelujah. Don't retreat, don't retreat back. But go and stand and fight the battle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The enemy will come through mystifying attacks from the left, from the right, from the north, from the south, the east and the west. And if you are going to sit and do nothing, hallelujah, if you sit and do nothing, the enemy will destroy you. How many of you have experienced mystifying attacks on your life? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. They even, they, why do they do this? Because they make you, they begin to make you even doubt on God. When you receive mystifying attacks, hallelujah. They make you, they make you begin to, you know, they, they, they make you feel that God is not there. They make you realize that, you know, you're going through so much attack. Where is your God? Hallelujah. Mystifying attacks and enemies make you doubt God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So this is the kind of prayer that David made. Hallelujah. Because he had mystifying enemies. And we are living in such a generation where mystifying enemies have risen up against the body of Christ. And if you don't pray such prayers against them, they are going to attack us. Hallelujah. May the Lord, may God deliver you. Hallelujah. I, this is my prayer for you that may God deliver your life, your marriage. Hallelujah. Your marriage from every mystifying enemy and every mystifying attacks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May the Lord deliver your health. Hallelujah. Every mystifying enemy that comes against you, I release mystifying, prayer, mystifying decrees against them, mystifying fire against them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will rise up and conquer your enemy in the name of Jesus. Come on, say this. I will rise up and I will conquer the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I will re I will rise up. I will prevail and I will conquer over every enemy in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My dear brother and sister, because you have, because there is an the unusual attack, hallelujah, a mystifying uh, attack, an abnormal attack, hallelujah, something which is out of the, uh, out of the ordinary. It's time for you and me, it's time for us to rise up and understand the seriousness of the situation and start firing mystifying bullets in the name of Jesus. Because normal prayer produces normal results, but mystifying prayer produces mystifying results. I'll say that again. Normal prayers produce normal results and mystifying prayers produce mystifying results. Hallelujah. And we must learn to move from normal to the, we must learn to move from normal, hallelujah, into the unusual, hallelujah, from the normal into the mystifying, hallelujah, hallelujah. How many of you are learn, learning something, hallelujah? We must learn to shift, my brother and sister, from the abnormal because of what, hallelujah, because of what we are, from normal to abnormal. We must learn to shift from the normal to the, to the abnormal, from the normal to the mystifying, hallelujah, because what we are dealing with is not normal. Hallelujah, because the powers of darkness, because the enemies that are released from the kingdom of darkness, they are mystifying enemies. Hallelujah. They are mystifying enemies that have been vomited from the kingdom of darkness into our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you are getting what I'm saying? They have been vomited from the seas from below the water. Hallelujah. And they are fighting and they are attacking us. Hallelujah. I am talking about mystifying enemies and mystifying attacks. Hallelujah. When you are confronted with unusual attacks and adversaries, 
disease hallelujah conditions and problems you are you cannot confront it with normal prayers you cannot confront it even with warrior warfare prayers hallelujah you need to confront them with unusual mystifying prayers mystifying prayers will bring mystifying solution hallelujah hallelujah solution that what are mystifying solution mystifying solution are are those that defy logic hallelujah hallelujah it completely defies the logic and the normalcy hallelujah hallelujah spiritual logic spiritual logic doesn't make sense to physical logic in the same way carnal logic does not make sense hallelujah hallelujah i'll say that again spiritual logic does not make sense to the physical logic spiritual carnal mind and carnal faculties i'll repeat that again spiritual logic doesn't make sense to physical logic to carnal mind and carnal faculties hallelujah hallelujah and if you need and if we need to stop the mystifying attacks from the mystifying enemies hallelujah we need to use the mystifying directives hallelujah from the holy spirit of god hallelujah we need the holy spirit if you call yourself a normal christian you are way behind because you cannot be a normal Christian and be an overcomer in a time such as this. Hallelujah. You need to be on fire. You need to if you want to be on fire, if you want to be victorious, if you want to be a container of the power of God, a container of the power of God, a reservoir of the presence of God. So you need to be a mystifying hallelujah person. Hallelujah. How many of you are getting what I'm saying? How many of you are understanding what I'm saying right now? Hallelujah. Mystifying means strange, unusual, abnormal. Hallelujah. If your enemy is abnormal, you cannot fight it by being normal. You need to be abnormal like your enemy and you need to make prayers, you need to make abnormal prayers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to be abnormal, my brother and sister. It's not wrong to be to be abnormal. To the world it may sound illogical. because if you say abnormal it's like you've gone out of your head hallelujah but if you hallelujah let me tell you everything in the supernatural everything in the supernatural hallelujah has no logic jesus walked on uh, jesus walked on the water turned the water into bread i'm sorry turned the water into wine if they wanted they could order for more wine but he turned the water into wine see the miracle jesus did there was a blind man jesus took the spit took his spit uh let uh, took his spit took the uh, took the mud mixed it took the clay mixed it and put in his eyes and he could see what logic do you find in that so the supernatural is illogical it's never if a person if the, if you are a person who tries to find logic in everything then you are not a christian you need to be born again because supernatural defies logic hallelujah the supernatural defies the logic hallelujah if you are going to be if you are going to intimidate the intimidator and oppose the opposer embarrass your enemy hallelujah embarrass the enemy that embarrasses you hallelujah you cannot be a normal christian hallelujah you got to be an abnormal christian doing abnormal things hallelujah hallelujah when you look through the bible there were people who were confronted with mystifying enemies hallelujah and they were attacked with mystifying attacks hallelujah hallelujah how many of you are getting what i'm saying hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus when the amalekites came to attack the children of israel at rephidim god gave moses a mystifying directive hallelujah how many of you remember this that the amalekites hallelujah the amalekites were coming to attack the children of israel at at rephidim hallelujah la bronto no mosaka and god told moses go up the mountain go take aaron and hur with you just lift your hand up and tell joshua to fight the battle and the and he will win the battle only by putting your hands up sitting on the mountain and when he, when his hands were paining it was aaron and who were who were holding his hands up but as long as the hands of moses were up he won the battle the moment he put his hands down they began to lose the battle hallelujah and aaron and who who holded his hands up and they won the battle hallelujah hallelujah this is abnormal hallelujah 
This is illogical. Hallelujah. And that's what the supernatural is all about. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. Oh, we see about Elisha. Uh, in the book of 2 Kings, in the book of 2 Kings, chapter 2, verse 20 and 21. Uh, you, can just, uh, you can just write down the verse. I won't go through the verse. Hallelujah. So when Elisha came to the battle, uh, to, the, to the waters of Jericho, hallelujah. And the Bible says that that water was not drinkable because it was poisonous. Hallelujah. And so Elisha told uh, the prophets of God who were with him, the servants, go get a brand new container. Hallelujah. And he put the salt in the he put the salt in the container and then he took that salt and put it in the water and he said now taste the water and the poison in the water was destroyed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you does it does it make sense naturally? No. If you put salt in the water why will the poison die? But this is supernatural. Hallelujah. This is mystifying solution. These are called mystifying solutions. Hallelujah. Because when the prophets were drinking the water, they were dying. They were being sick. They were having a bad stomach ache and they were literally dying. But Elisha said, get me a brand new bowl which is not used. He put salt in that. He prayed, he did mystifying prayers, he decreed mystifying decrees and he put it in the water and the water was healed from that day on. Hallelujah! Thus says the Lord, I have healed this water from it, there shall be no more death or barrenness. Hallelujah! You can read it in your word, 2 Kings chapter 2 verse 20 and 21. We see how the walls of Jericho fell down. If someone has to break the building, they need all kind of tools to break the building. And these walls of Jericho were very strong wall. Hallelujah. But guess what? The supernatural defied the logic. Logical. How? God told Joshua, instructed Joshua and the priest to shout seven days. And on the seventh day, shout seven times. Praise the Lord seven times. Hallelujah. And what happened? The walls of Jericho came down crumbling. Hallelujah. My dear brother and sister, it's time for you to pray the mystifying prayers, to decree the mystifying decrees. Hallelujah. And see the enemy, the unusual, the strange enemy that are attacking your life, that are attacking the life of your children being destroyed. Hallelujah. How many of you are getting? How many of you are getting what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Psalm 144, verse 7. Once again, we'll read that verse. From the NKJV. And now I'm reading from the NKJV. Stretch out your hand from above. Rescue me and deliver me out of great waters from the hands of the foreigners. Hallelujah. The mystifying, the mystifying enemies that are against you have positioned themselves to bring you down, my brother, my sister. Hallelujah. May mystifying arrows pierce them down now in the name of Jesus. Come on, say this. Every mystifying enemy, hallelujah, that are against me, I right now release mystifying arrows to pierce them down right now in the name of Jesus. May their works be destroyed, their powers be destroyed, their capabilities be destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every natural and unnatural activity of the enemy designed against me, come on, say this, Every natural and unnatural activities of the enemy designed against me to bring me down, to undermine my destiny, to undermine my will and counsel of God. I declare strange fire. I declare strange fire from above to come down now and consume them now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the times that we are living in, my brother and my sister, we need to have the sharpest discernment. Hallelujah. We need to have sharp discernment. You must not walk in the flesh. Hallelujah. But you must walk in the spirit at all times. You must walk, you must learn to walk in the spirit at all times. Hallelujah. Your spirit man must all must be always alive, strong, and powerful and potent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your spirit man must be strong, powerful, alive and potent to face the enemy and to destroy the mystifying enemy. You must always be ready for the battle. 
Hallelujah. You must always be ready for the battle. Hallelujah. Your armor must always be in place. Hallelujah. Your sword must always be in your hands. Hallelujah. How do you deal with mystifying enemies? Hallelujah. How do we deal with mystifying enemies and attacks? The first thing, first point, your relationship with God must be strong. Write it down. Your relationship with God must be strong. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Your relationship with God must be strong. It must be potent. Hallelujah. God is your everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You must be strong and your relationship with God must be strong and unbreakable. Hallelujah. Because of which it will allow the almighty God to unravel secrets and to deal with mystifying enemies. Hallelujah. The first important point which we Christians lack. Our relationship with God must be very strong. Hallelujah. Your abilities and capabilities capabilities cannot withstand the enemy, my dear brother and sister. Your arm of flesh, your your credentials cannot defy or cannot cannot destroy your mystifying enemies and cannot prevail against it. Hallelujah. It it takes divine direction. It takes divine direction to deal with mystifying enemies. The second point is, you must pray the prayer of inquiry. You must pray, as I said, all kinds of prayer. There are different kinds of prayer for different things. So the second prayer you need to do is, you must pray the prayer of in inquiry. What is inquiry? You must know what kind of enemy you are dealing with. Who is your enemy? Who sent that demon? What mission is the enemy come on? You must know the attacks and tactics the enemy is using as it relates to your destiny. Hallelujah. To your family and everything that concerns you. Whenever, I'll just give an example. Whenever I have a case, I will not put my hands directly. I will sit with the Holy Spirit with the angels and discuss the case who is the enemy why is he attacking them from where has he come who has sent him what is the purpose in your destiny what is the first thing they want to attack what is their battle plan what is the strategy they are using how do I need to attack the enemy who do I need to involve along with me in this case Which strategy I need to use? Which angel has to be with me? What kind of prayers I need to pray? Do I need to pray or do I need to decree? Do I need to go to the courts of heaven? Or do I need to go directly to the battleground? So this is called studying the case before you even go and attack. Whom are you attacking? What is the name of the enemy? What information do you have or know? Many prayer warriors die with diseases. They vomit blood because they don't do a study. They don't do a survey. They do not. This is called the prayer of inquiry. Prayer of inquiry. You need to inquire from the Lord. The Bible says David inquired of the Lord. Read from the book of 2 Samuel, 1 King. It talks, David inquired. What did he inquire? He inquired the battle plan and strategy. And that's the reason, not a scratch was there. On, he, David, when David fought the battle, he won. There was not even a scratch on his back or anywhere. He won every battle. And he killed the enemy left, right, center. And he came back with the spoil of the enemy. Why do we lose our battle? Because we do not plan. We do not... Uh, yesterday I went to a family, uh, to meet a family. They had called me to pray for them. And that night I sat, and I sat in the night and I was praying. And I was asking the Lord. The Lord just told me two things. The rest of the things he told me after meeting the family. But he told me the root of that problem of the, of the family that I was going to meet. From where it started. 
and when I told the told that sister the name of the person and I told her at what age the problem started she was shocked she was shocked she was shell shocked hallelujah at start she didn't remember but when I told her how old was she she said oh my god I know this person the name that how I'm and the person who's invited me that family who invited me I don't I've never I have never met them I do not know them and I've not even seen them it was through Facebook she got connected to me she got my number on one of the flyers and she contacted me and we were only on whatsapp all uh, it's been she's been um, from the time of lockdown she's been she's been telling me I want to meet you I want to meet you because in lockdown we were not able to meet anyone and I said surely we'll meet we'll meet you can watch me online and at last by the will of God it happened that we met her yesterday hallelujah and God delivered her completely she was so blessed so filled with the fire hallelujah she came from a very she came from Mumbai and I live in Vasai it's very far hallelujah and she came all the way waiting for me hallelujah and I said God is going to encounter you this evening God is going to encounter you and truly God encountered her yesterday she felt a fire that what she said when the moment you touched me I don't know what happened and the Lord began revealing things about her life her life was like an open scroll before me and I was just reading it out why because I asked God the battle plan the strategy I made a prayer of inquiry I sat with the Holy Spirit I sat with the angels and I started asking the Lord about her life hallelujah if there's an enemy that is attacking you you don't jump and battle you need to first pray a prayer of inquiry that is asking the Lord as David asked the Lord hallelujah hallelujah so that is why you must have a strong relationship with God and God begins to give you the answers of your prayers that when you ask God God who is the enemy why is he attacking me what is the strategy the Lord will reveal everything to you as a friend when your relationship with God is strong the third prayer that you need to pray in mystifying prayer is you need to pray a prayer of exposure that is exposing the enemy hallelujah if if the enemy is not exposed you won't know who is your enemy simple if your enemy is not exposed you won't know who's your enemy and to know who's your enemy and to expose your enemy you need to have a strong relationship with the lord and when you tell the lord expose the enemy in the broad daylight the lord will expose the enemy in the very broad daylight hallelujah it is important because if you don't know your enemy you don't know you don't know who's your enemy what kind of enemy you are you may be even living with your enemy you may be even sleeping and eating and drinking and moving about with your enemy you don't even know it hallelujah mystifying enemies mystifying prayers hallelujah the fourth point is you got to attack their power base very very important you got to attack their power base hallelujah the source of the the source of the power of the enemy is in their power base the reason they can attack you and inflict you with mystifying attacks or problems or diseases is because they are attacking you from their power base so you must release the hallelujah you must release the blood bombs of jesus you need to release a blood bullets hallelujah i release a blood bombs on their power base i release a blood bullets on their power base on the enemy's power base that is attacking me this is the way you need to pray my brother and sister this is the way you don't need to just cry and cry and cry no it's time for you to arise and stand on your feet and release bullet bombs blood bombs and blood bullets against the enemy you must invoke the name of Jesus against the enemy. You must pray at different times and different 
ways. Hallelujah. Prayer and prayer at a time when the enemy cannot predict. Hallelujah. And know that you are coming into his territory. Go to their power base and destroy their power base in the name of Jesus. Every mystifying enemy has been frustrating your life. Your destiny, your family, your marriage, your finances. It's time for you to destroy and smash their power base into pieces. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's time for you, my brother and sister. Say this after me. Every mystifying enemy that has been frustrating my life, my destiny, my family, my marriage, my finance, my ministry, I destroy and smash their power base into pieces now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I remove their, I remove their power base now in the name of Jesus. I declare the platform on which, say this after me, I declare the platform on which they stand to fight against me, to contend, hallelujah, to contend, to shoot me. I command their platform and every other platform to shrink and be, dis to shrink and be destroyed now in the name of Jesus. Ancestral spirits that are attacking me with mystifying attacks, let their power base be demolished now in the name of Jesus. Every mystifying agent of the devil that are fighting me, I declare, let them be exposed and catch fire. And suddenly, let destruction come upon them now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, hallelujah. Every mystifying agent, again, come on, every mystifying agent of the devil that are fighting me and my family, I declare, let them be exposed, let them get fire, and suddenly let destruction come upon them now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let their days and years be cut in half. Let the sun smite them. And let them be judged now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The fifth point. Silence their voice. You need to silence their voice. Psalm 3 verse 7. Psalms 3 verse 7. Arise, O Lord. Save me, O my God. For you have struck all my enemies on their cheekbone. You have broken the teeth of the ungodly. It's time. <clears throat> This is the prayer you need to pray. I'll say that again. Psalms chapter 3 verse 7. <clears throat> Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. For you have struck all my enemies on their cheekbone. You have broken the teeth of the ungodly. It's time for you to say, Lord, break the cheekbone. Hallelujah of my enemy. Break every cheekbone of my enemy now in Jesus' name. Break, hallelujah. Break their teeth that their voice would be silenced. Break their teeth that their voice would be silenced forever. Come on, somebody. Silence every mystifying voice that speaks against you, against your family, your marriage, your finances, your ministry. Those mystifying voices that speak against you, you need to silence them. When these mystifying voices speak against you, let their tongue cleave to the roof of their mouth. Hallelujah. Let their voices never be heard. The times that we are in, we should not live a, be, a, be a timid. We should not be timid or neutral. Because these are dangerous and deadly times, my brother, my sister. So we also must be dangerous and deadly. Hallelujah. We need to break the cheekbone of the devil. Enough he has silenced our voice by breaking our cheekbone and our teeth. It's time for us to arise and break the cheekbone of the devil. To punch them on their mouth and break their teeth so that their voice is silenced. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a time to rise up and enter the camp of the enemy. Enter the warehouse where they have kept your stolen goods. 
through the medium of prayer and spiritual warfare. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good evening, Paulette. Hallelujah. How many of you are getting what I'm saying? God told, God told Ezekiel, clap your hands, stomp your foot. Hallelujah. It may not appeal to your logic. I would always wonder when, when they, when, whenever I watch any video of you know, Africans praying, in the initial days when I would watch them and I would see they are praying and they are clapping hands and they are stomping their foot I, I observed it very closely and I wondered why did they why do they why do they clap their hands or you know why do they stomp their foot because we normally clap hands when we praise God but when they are decreeing and declaring why do they do it and when I saw in the word of God that God told Ezekiel specifically when you are attacking your enemy when you are decreeing when you are declaring and decreeing from your mouth clap your hands and keep stomping your food and declaring and decreeing hallelujah hallelujah because you are giving a hard time you're giving a hard time to the enemy by doing so hallelujah hallelujah this this may not uh, you know this may not appeal to our logic hallelujah but in such a time that we are and we need to do so hallelujah sometimes the lord gives prophetic directives hallelujah and you got to be very sensitive to the holy spirit and to the leading of the holy spirit in doing the mystifying acts hallelujah isaiah chapter 28 verse 21 isaiah chapter 28 verse 21 for the lord will rise up rise up as at Mount Perazim. He will be angry as in the valley of Gibeon that he may do his work, his awesome work and bring to pass his act, his unusual acts. Hallelujah. It talks about God himself doing the unusual, the uncommon, the unnatural, the weird, the strange, the mystifying acts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you are getting what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you strategically position yourself in prayer and when you live a holy life, you will become you will become a battle axe in the hand of God. Hallelujah. It's time to rise up with holy anger, my brother, my sister. It's time to take back from the enemy everything that he has taken from you your dignity how your honor your blessing your marriage your ministry your finances it's time to take a stand it's time to get aggressive and violent it's time that your honor must be restored back to you hallelujah hallelujah how many of you have got how many of you have understood this word today how many of you are blessed by today's word my dear brother and sister i just want to tell you something before i before i end the word Hallelujah. We are living in the days, hallelujah, where marriages are being attacked. Hallelujah. I know a couple who had such a beautiful marriage and it came to a, you know, and when I got to know that there's a big problem in their marriage, it was like a shock to me. It was, I got a biggest shock of my life. Hallelujah. I got a biggest shock of, biggest shock of my life. Because this couple, hallelujah, whom I knew, Hallelujah were an example. Hallelujah. And when I came to know what's happening, when I saw what's happening, it was shocking. The devil can attack you by mystifying attacks, unusual attack. Everything is going smoothly and you won't even know what has happened. Hallelujah. So it's time, don't wait for, for the enemy to attack you through mystifying attacks. Because we are living in a time where the enemy is attacking you through, through unusual, strange attacks, which is about the, which is out of the ordinary. Hallelujah! Which is out of the ordinary, which is out of the normal, which is abnormal. So, if your enemy is attacking you in an abnormal way, in an unusual way, you need to attack him back in an unusual way. Hallelujah! An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. It's not for it's not written an eye for a tooth and a and a tooth for an eye or a tooth for a ears, for example. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. So we don't need to fight physically any person, but spiritually an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. It's time. Hallelujah. If the devil is attacking you, you need to attack the devil. The devil will never attack you directly. 
he will use a person and attack you but however you need to understand your enemy is not a person your enemy is not your husband not your mother in law not your father in law not your daughter in law not your siblings not your parents not your neighbors not your boss your enemy is satan the devil hallelujah and because he can't attack you directly he will use a person who is weaker than you to provoke you to irritate you to do things that 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 will provoke you and make you get angry and sin so that when he gets a legal right he can he can attack you through mystifying attacks but how many of you are saying that i'm not going to give the devil a chance i'm going to rise up take my stand and i'm going to roar at the enemy hallelujah hallelujah how many of you say that i'm going to roar at the enemy i'm going to attack the enemy Hallelujah through mystifying weapons through unusual and strange weapons and the holy spirit is going to help you hallelujah the holy spirit is going to help you fight the enemy i hope you've been blessed by today's word and tomorrow i'll come back again tomorrow a time it's going to be a arena of prophetic zone where i'm going to prophesy and on sunday that's the 20th of december we're going to have sunday online church we're going to have online sunday church and it's only going to be on zoom it's going to be on zoom so all those who are interested to join us you can come on zoom i'll help you uh, i'll be putting up the zoom id and password it's going to be on zoom we are not going to come on facebook on sunday on sunday it's going to be zoom tomorrow that's arena prophetic zone i'll come live on facebook Hallelujah. So how many of you are blessed? Hallelujah. I want you to share this word that I've preached today that I've taught you today. Share this word, this revelation the Lord has given me and bless hallelujah be a blessing. Hallelujah. Be a blessing. And this Sunday, yes, we are going to break bread and wine. We are going to have um breaking of bread and wine this Sunday on Zoom. On Zoom. It's not going to be on Facebook. It's going to be on Zoom. Yes. So and all those who are interested Okay if you want to if you are interested to join our intercession team okay kindly contact uh, kindly contact us uh, on uh, Pastor Arpan if you could put up is Pastor Arpan here uh, if you could put up the numbers of Pastor Roshan and Pastor Arpan Sister Clementina if you are there if you could do that please put up Pastor Roshan and Pastor Arpan's number so you can contact the numbers that will be put up on the comment screen on the comment box hallelujah the i'll just say the number 9867436656 hallelujah you can contact pastor roshan and uh, for the intercession team if anyone wants to join the intercession team because these are the time the time that we are living in let me tell you my brother and sister the enemy is attacking the enemy is attacking the body of christ and if you are not covered if you are not covered hallelujah let me tell you your bed your open the enemy will easily attack you we are having daily intercession we are having daily intercession in english in hindi in marathi hallelujah we have intercession at 4 o'clock 5 o'clock at um 10:30 hallelujah so you can just call up pastor roshan and just tell him that you want to join the intercession of whichever language english hindi marathi right now for now we have english hindi marathi so you can join our intercession team okay and you can also go to our website that's www.rlmi.net i'll say that again it's www.rlmi.net hallelujah and you can browse through our website hallelujah we have the blogs uh, we have uh, we have the a uh, blog site i mean we have blogs where you can go through the blog the preaching whatever i teach you i put it on the blogs we also have the upcoming events you can visit the upcoming visit uh, events uh, any prayer request that you want to put you can you can put up the prayer request on, on our website you can fill up also we have uh, we have the if you want to meet me for one on one okay you can go to my website there's power meet one on one you can go and fill up the form we also have healing and deliverance uh, one on one 
so you can go and fill up the form if you want healing to meet uh, to meet me for one on one we need uh, we have started something we said one on one but it's like a group that we have and uh, sister aruna was uh, part of it and many people are part of it and uh, where where we are going to make you say certain prayers like we do bloodline cleansing and uh, curse breaking and everything we take you to the courts of heaven okay we see that you are completely delivered your god has answered your prayers hallelujah and we see and also i prophesy over every person that uh, who is who is uh, a part of that so if anyone is interested you can go and fill the form uh, go to my website again i'll say www.rlmi.net hallelujah rlmi.net and uh, you can you can just go through our website if anyone wants to give if you want to sow right now okay to for the ministry that's uh, rlmi ministry uh, rema life ministry international to our ministry if you want to sow a seed you can go to our website we have online giving we have google pay we have phone pay we have also bank to bank you can uh, if you have any you can even um, a so a see through your bank to my bank hallelujah all the details are on the website so i request you to go and visit our website and if you you want to uh, if you want to so a see so that we take this ministry ahead hallelujah i mean we take this ministry ahead because we are getting calls from people who are calling us hallelujah not only in mumbai but even out of mumbai hallelujah my dear brother and sister salvation is absolutely free Hallelujah but if we want to save soul without your help we cannot do it we cannot do it there are people calling us from all uh, all over maharashtra all over india but we have kept things of on hold right for now hallelujah but if you want to help us and if you want to uh, if you want us to build the kingdom of god hallelujah and if god is putting in your heart again if god is putting in your heart you can surely sow a seed and be a blessing because we have seen that those who are sowing seeds in our ministry god has blessed them god has blessed them like anything doors have been open for them hallelujah uh, there was a man whom whom uh, who had come to our meeting this is way before the lockdown and the lord just told me to tell him to sow a seed he had a, he had a problem in the kidney and his creatinine level creatinine level was very high and i just you know i'm not a person i don't like to do that hallelujah but when the lord personally taught me something about sowing hallelujah the power of sowing i'm a person i keep sowing hallelujah when the lord taught me hallelujah the secret of sowing let me tell you my brother and sister sowing you know at times i don't even pray if i want something hallelujah this is a shortcut i do because i don't get time to pray for myself i pray for people so when it comes about me praying for myself hallelujah what i do is hallelujah i will take a seed i will take a seed that you know i feel oh my god with the you know that if i if i remove this money how will i manage but i said no if it's paying me praise be to god i'm doing the right thing so i take the seed and i said lord i'm sowing the seed because i want this hallelujah so when i sow the seed to the man of god or the woman of god hallelujah the moment i sow my god i'm telling you i didn't even pray for my own problem the door just opened and god released god god opened the door for me hallelujah i have seen that my brother and my sister so i was telling you about a brother who had a problem with high creatinine level and he was on dialysis he was on dialysis and the lord told me to tell him to sow a seed you know that will that that it's hard to give that's hard to give and um, i i said that's why i said it's up to you want to give you want to sow so you don't want to sow do not sow i'm not forcing you the lord spoke to me i did my work of obedience by telling you now it's up to you hallelujah I didn't, I didn't even think whether it's going to sow and it didn't even bother me because when it comes to when God tells me something I'm a person I'm obedient hallelujah if God says something I will just do it blindly hallelujah so I did my work for that month he didn't sow anything and I just forgot next month he sowed a seed following month he sowed a seed after that he sowed a seed hallelujah and he sowed a seed till the Lord put that amount in his heart and then Hallelujah when he now when i see that man he is absolutely healed he is absolutely free he is completely okay 
Hallelujah. And this is what God has done. God has healed him completely. Completely. Hallelujah. This is only the doing of the Lord, my brother, my sister. Hallelujah. We have seen people when they sow into our ministry. I'm not talking, let the Lord speak to you, but this is what I've experienced and seen. Hallelujah. This is what I've experienced and seen. The power of the seed. The power of the seed. When you sow, it's it's like if you weigh prayer and if you weigh sowing. Hallelujah. When you pray, when you pray, it may take time. But when you sow, it's like instant. Hallelujah. And I love something that is instant. Me and my husband, we just love to give. Whatever we are, we just love to give. And there are some people here who love to give. I need to actually tell them, please put a break. Hallelujah. I need to literally tell some people, put a break. Let others be blessed. Hallelujah. So if God is putting in your heart, you can sow. You can go to our website. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, www.rlmi.net click on the menu there's online giving right below there okay uh, if you want to pay through google pay you can pay uh, phone pay and bank to bank transfers yes so god bless you love you all hallelujah brother dominic i'm waiting for your job what has happened update me you can update me on whatsapp what's happened about your job i've been praying for you hallelujah jay nanda i've been praying for your job may god bless you too hallelujah how that's the power of god brother Sa santiago that's the power of god god bless you hallelujah so see you tomorrow see you tomorrow at 7 p.m god bless you shalom